new trip. The aim and intention of this trip is to carry on the series of the Terrain Tamer products. So you guys have seen the installation videos. This one is now the product testing video. So basically we're heading into the Tankwa, which let's go with it's South Africa's mini outback. Uh, but the difference is we're going to be finding mountain passes and things to cross. So yeah, we're literally going to put the products to its paces and see you see how they handle the African terrain. Let the adventure begin. It's like rain. I've done a little bit of testing already and so far so good. I'm actually extremely happy. The parabolic suspension and the smart coils in the front have been absolutely amazing so far. Tunk was some pretty some pretty tough terrain to drive through. It goes from normal undulating dirt roads to corrugated roads to mountain passes to um, like rocky crossings and that sort of thing. That's why I called it earlier the, the mini outback because it, it's basically a big desert so I'm going to turn this camera on to show you quickly. go that's what the tank will looks like Got huge mountains on the left of us mountains on the right of us and what looks like rain do you think that's rain on the right hand side um, I was actually having a look at it right now funny enough um, I think it could actually be which is gonna be a very awesome rare moment for us as I was saying I went uh, vastly different terrain and this is going to give me pretty much everything I'm after the only thing it's not going to give me is water crossings which is okay that we can deal with at a later stage that I'll, I'll find some way to go and take the, the vehicle with water crossings the one thing I'm really chuffed about other than the parabolic suspension is the brakes we're running the high performance drums we're running the high performance discs the donkey is a braking machine Many of you that have Land Cruisers know the handbrake issue. My handbrake is three clicks and it's locked. It's done. And that's as a result of putting the terrain tamer stuff in. It's really, really good. Awesome Friday afternoon. Sun's going to set in probably three hours. So we've got some time to find a camp. But yeah, it's going to be good fun. We've reached the Tankwa Putt stall. Quickly have a swim and maybe a cold beverage or two and then we'll hit the road again to try and find us a camp. was sunny skies earlier to an absolute huge dust storm some lightning which is very strange and a lot of thunder so Tanko Patstol they've actually invited us to stay in one of their I would guess like a warehouse they're gonna open it for us and we're gonna be able to stay in there so we're gonna be out of the elements out of the wind
So we've decided not to stay in the container warehouse, uh, which actually was a movie set. And this was a repair shop for what was a carnage scene of vehicles. It's too hot in there, there's no wind. So we've decided to use the, the warehouse or the container as wind protection. It was supposed to be a wild camp tonight. It's kind of randomly wild, randomly remote. Let's get the fire going and some food on and we'll carry on from there. following morning now we've packed up camp we're gonna be heading off on the Tanka roads we're going to I have no idea some dam then a pass then yeah do some do some nice testing all right cool time to get going Heading to Odebach Pass, which is quite a, a rocky, steep climb. Today is, literally has been, it's kind of undulating dirt road like this shit. Uh, guys, watch out, there's a dip, and when you get to the bottom of that dip, just before where you can see me, there's two big undulations. Oh, thanks for the heads up there. You hit that, you hit that a little pace, um, you're, eating your, you're eating your steering wheel. No, dude, I'm running terrain tamer suspension. I don't hit my steering wheel anymore. Yes, 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 you know. We've had some really, really bad corrugated roads. It's just been really, really easy driving it. It's the most comfortable I've been so far on, on corrugated roads. We're running tires probably around 2.2, 2.4. Obviously with the heat it's increased, it's a bit harder than it should be. The suspension is coping well with what we're actually doing at the moment. So, so far so good. Let's see, let's see what the pass ends up being like.
just over a thousand meters sea level, 1,100 meters sea level, and it is still baking hot. 37, I think it is. We're struggling. What are you doing, Richard? Are you too <laughs> hot? Huh? Are you too hot? Yeah, I'm dying. Are you overheating? We're not even at the top of the Otterback Pass, but the drive up here was fairly easy. First, second, well, second gear, low range, third gear, low range, all the way up from the bottom down there. Nothing too technical, a little bit of rocks here and there, a little bit of undulation, some bumps, but all good, eh? The suspension's eating it up, the donkey's eating it up. It's really, really easy going. We've probably got about 100 k's to go to our uh, camp for tonight. Gonna head down nice and slowly, make our way to our camp. We are 78 k's away from the camp apparently. I don't know how true that is. Google Maps is obviously offline and this camp is not on tracks for Africa. So hopefully we find it. I'm really, really hoping that there's some form of water body that we can swim in because we are literally baking but it is a really pretty view. So for everyone that thinks the donkey doesn't flex, I'd like to show you something quickly. So look at the front left wheel, right? Nice and squished up. Let me show you the rear. Rear suspension here. Look at that. There's donkey not flexing. Let me show you the other side. Right up against the wheel arch. And that side we got some sexy flex. So, Torrent Tamer suspension has definitely added some maneuverability into a solid axle vehicle which I'm not unhappy about. I mean, look at that. So it's freaking hot at the moment and we're still like, I don't know, 40 minutes away from our camp. So we've decided we swim in that. I'm that desperate that I think I'm going to go in that one. So here goes. Yeah, I don't care as long as you don't drink it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, now that is power. They instantly feel a lot better having swum in mozzie infested slime ball with thorn trees. <laughs> it was great. The only one that hasn't swum is Simon. He's bailing out. He's probably making a wise decision because the rest of us are going to get full highs here. We're going to have some type if of fever. If the video dude. doesn't make it to YouTube, you know there's yeah. a problem. Yeah. We're going to get some kind of fever, I'm telling you. You can even feel on your ass. But you must feel my legs. I feel like I just bathed in Vaseline. Yeah, yeah it's slimy, eh? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, some man, proper slime, that. But I'm happy. Are you guys happy? Oh, dude, okay. all the time. <laughs> High five to farmers with random pools. We love you. So it's been a really long day in the car. Uh, we're now sitting at eight and a half hours in the car, to be honest. And we're 10 kilometers away from tonight's camp. Oh, a long day, very, very happy with everything how it's gone. None of us have had punches. Um, suspensions work well, the brakes are working amazingly well, uh, the corrugations haven't hurt at all, which is unusual for the Tankwa. Those of you who have been here know the corrugations in the Tankwa are quite severe. And they are busy driving on corrugated road. So, all good this side. But yeah, uh, I think all the guys are reaching a point where we kind of want to get out of the cars now and just maybe sit around and 
have a beer or two and then just relax. It's been a bit of a maintenance morning for all of us. Maintenance for Simon to learn how to roll up his pop-up tent. Maintenance for Gareth to learn how to fix his battery system. Maintenance for Richard because his hair hasn't been behaving. And maintenance for me because my spots, the brackets have broken because of the results of the corrugation. Um, while I don't feel it much because of the, the parabolics, Obviously, the rest of the car does. So, we had to quickly make shift the plan here to hold the light on because this bracket's broken and this bracket's broken. You can see in there. So, yeah, maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. It's looking at Matthias, they look a little bit pup, but they're sitting at 1.6 bar, so not really an issue. Obviously, yesterday they were a bit harder with the with the corrugation and the heat of the day and all the rest of that but now we're all packed up and ready to shift to the next camp but I'm just gonna finish my coffee and we'll get going so another thing I've noticed with my vehicle with sleeping on the rooftop tent is the old suspension if I shifted in the tent the vehicle would rock side to side with this suspension it no longer does that no more, no more body roll on the, the tent when I'm sleeping in it. in half an hour and now he has a puncture I mean like what an inconvenience as the tanker goes we're riding along a road and that's the result of trying to pass a car on on the R355 so 
This tire is absolutely shredded. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> I mean, like, check it out. Yes, gentlemen, yes. You put my fist through it. <laughs> Very, very, very long, windy, corrugated day with punctures and all the rest. We've arrived at our next camp. We don't know if they're open. Uh, it's a camp called Dumont. We're going to see if they have accommodation for us. I'm pretty sure they have accommodation for us because it's Sunday evening. I'd, I'd assume everyone's gone home. Time to head to Cape Town and we officially say that the tires, the generals, they survived the Tanqua. The terrain tamer survived the Tanqua and outshone the Tanqua. The donkey with all the terrain tamer gear, yo, what a difference. The brakes have been epic. The, the, the cost, the correction that was done, I've noticed the difference. The car is a lot more stable. The suspension is really, really stable on corrugated road, on undulating roads up rocky climbs, just sleeping in the car is more stable, it doesn't rock side to side. Every, everything that's been done to the donkey is, has been really, really good. But yeah, now it's time to head back to Cape Town. The weekend is over. It is Monday morning, time to get to work. <laughs> 